everybody, it's Eunice and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how to get this warm makeup look that's perfect for fall or maybe Thanksgiving since it's the day before Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving, y'all! If you want to know how to get this look, just keep on watching. Okay, so I don't know why my camera just decided to like go off, but anyway, I'm setting my eyes with this shade right here from the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I got it like a month ago and oh my gosh, I just can't stop using it. I mean, you can use it on its own and you can also use it with, oh, that is actually shimmery. Now I'm taking my Morphe M441 brush and I'm using the shade and I'm mixing the shades Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange on my crease. So I'm just going to swirl it a bit on both because I find that one is too cool and one is way too warm for my crease. So I like mixing them both together. Tap, tap, tap. And I'm just going to buff that in my outer corners and my crease. What you want to do is you work from out. So once you see that the all the product is transferred to your lid on the outer corners, that's when you do windshield swiper motions para mag ombre effect siya. So for the outer corners, just to make it more defined, I am taking the shade real. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's this like orangey shade from the Anastasia palette. It's this one. It's the shade Real Gar or something. I don't know how to pronounce it. But yeah, I'm just taking the, sh the brush that comes with it. So it's like a fluffy blending brush. And I'm going to apply that on my outer corners. Now going back to my fluffy blending brush, I'm going to blend those two eyeshadow colors, well three right now, together so that it doesn't look patchy. Now for my base, I am taking the shade Raw Sienna, so that's this shade right here, and I'll be applying that on my lid. I am taking this like um, slightly packed eyeshadow brush. I'm taking the shade, what shade is this? Cranapple Buns. Wow, what a shade color. I'm taking the shade Buns from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'll be applying that on the lower half of my lid. So now it's time for my face makeup. So I'll be using the Makeup Forever HD foundation and I'm using my Real Techniques makeup sponge to blend that in. It's a little light because I got this one for winter because it's lighter than skin tone ko pag winter. So I'm not applying that much foundation on this area because I'll apply pa concealer and I don't want it to cake because I have a lot of product on that area if I foundation pa ako dun. Is my lighting off? I hope not. So it's the holidays and for sure you'll be taking lots of photos. So I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. This doesn't have flash doesn't give you flashbacks, so so it's perfect. I'll just be applying that on my under eye area. <laughs> So 
So now that I have all my cream products, it's time to set my face with powder. So I have been loving the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. It's super perfect. I know, I think on my other makeup look, I use this as well, but I just love it so much. The finish is matte, pero it doesn't cake up on my face. And usually matte finishes nag cake in sa face ko kasi dry yung skin ko. But this one, I super love it and it has good coverage too. So since this is a makeup look for the holidays, you're gonna want to have to make sure that your makeup stays on all night. And that is one of the reasons why I am baking my face. So while I'm baking my face, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. So for today, I'm going to fast forward through this routine because you've seen this a, mi a million times already. But just for reference, I'm using my e.l.f. eyebrow kit. Okay, so it's time to brush off the powder. So I'm using my Sigma Tapered Kabuki brush to set my under eyes. Super perfect shape for the under eyes. See? Super love this. Now that that's set, I am just taking my fluffy It Cosmetics powder brush and I'm going to set the rest, the rest. I'm going to set the rest of my face with the excess powder. So going back to my eye makeup, I'm just going to clean it up and finish it off. So I'm taking my Morphe M432 brush. So I, I like this brush for like my under eyes right here. And I'm taking the shade Real Gar. And I'm just going to apply that on my outer, lower outer corners. Going back to my blending brush, I'm just going to re-blend my lids. Now I'm taking this small lip brush. I know it's a lip brush, but I use it to apply glitter. Well, not glitter. I use it to apply shimmer on my inner corners because it's it's just perfect. So I'm taking the shade Vermeer right here, and I'll be applying that on my inner corners. Okay, so after that, I'm going to take my Stila eyeliner and I'm going to use this to create a wing. This is always a struggle for me. Okay, now to contour my face, I am taking my Kat Von D shade in light palette and I'm taking this shade in the middle and I'm going to use that to bronze and contour my face. And I'm using my Sigma F05 small contour brush. Now for my nose, I am taking the small e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and I'm taking this shade right here, the lightest shade, and I'm just using that to contour my nose. Just a little light. For blush, I'm taking my Tarte blush palette and I am using this shade right here, the Medjo Nude one, since my eyes are so powerful na nga, yung blush ko gusto ko medyo neutral lang siya. And I'm using my e.l.f. blush brush and I'll just be applying that on the apples of my cheeks. Take note, tart blushes are super pigmented so a little goes a long way. So medyo flushed look lang siya. Now for highlight, I am using this Becca highlighter in Moonstone. I'll be taking this e.l.f. stipple brush and I'll be applying that on the high points of my face. This 
And I'll also apply that on a little bit on my nose and on my cupid's bow. And this is the part where you apply your setting spray, which I'm not gonna do because I'm just at home, so yeah. Now it's time to curl my lashes. And I'm using my L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. For lips, I'm using the ColourPop Lippy To Go pencil, wait, the other side, pencil in the shade Bound. I'm just going to use this to line my lips. And I'm using my Wet n Wild Mega Last Le Katsut Liquid Lipstick in Give Me Mocha. You can stop right here or you can opt to add some falsies for a more dramatic look but I'm not particularly good at that so let's skip that for now. And here is the finished makeup look. If you like this look, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!